Welcome to another episode of Airquake Whiskey Studies, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a, a bottle that I brought back from my trip to Isla in July 2023. This is the Bowmore 18 year old fish ale edition, uh, bottled at 52.8% alcohol by volume. But before I get into this, I'm going to tell you about the profile of a Bowmore distillery, their core range, and then get into this whiskey. Bowmore Distillery is located in the town of Bowmore in the center of the Isle of Isla, an island of the Inner Hebrides. The distillery lies on the southeastern shore of Loch Endall and is one of the oldest in Scotland. The name Bowmore may be derived from a name of a black reef just outside of Loch Endall, while others think it refers to a Norse term for the sunken rock. Bowmore Distillery is the first and oldest licensed distillery on Isla, founded by David Simpson in 1779, but some sources state there is no evidence of the whiskey being made until a certain John Simpson took out a license in 1816. In 2014, Bowmore Distillery was bought by Beam Suntory. Bowmore Distillery's water source comes from the River Lagan, as much as 40% of their malted barley comes from their own malting floors. The remainder comes from Port Allen maltings, peated at 22 to 33 ppm phenols. They have a semi-louder mash tun, four wood washbacks. They have four stills, that is two wash stills and two spirit stills. They use shell and tube condensers their distillation strength is at 69.2% alcohol by volume, distilled 8 to 10 ppm phenols. The cask filling strength is 63.5% alcohol by volume. A significant percentage of the distillery's whiskey is matured on the island, with the distillery's number one vaults being held to have the most extraordinary microclimate. This chill, damp environment the vault is below the level of a lock indole and one wall makes up the town seawall is seen as ideal for long-term maturation the bowmore distillery core range the bowmore 12 year old isla single malt scotch whiskey asian ex bourbon cast ex sherry cast and is bottled at 40 percent alcohol by volume the bowmore 15 year old isla single malt scotch whiskey aged in ex bourbon cast ex sherry cast and bottled at 40% alcohol by volume. The Bowmore 18 year old Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, aged in ex bourbon cast, ex sherry cast, and bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. The Bowmore 25 year old Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, aged in ex bourbon cast, ex sherry cast, and is bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. Bowmore Distillery also has limited and rare edition releases such as the Bowmore 18 year old Fish Shell Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey aged for 18 years in ex Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez casts, spotted at 52.8% alcohol by volume in a 70 CL bottle, and it goes for about $300 on the secondary market. So as you saw there in the notes, the bottle is available for 300 pounds, $300 on the secondary, and there's several websites out there that offer them. Of course, that saves you money from having to go all the way to Isla just to get a whiskey. But if you happen to be making a trip to Isla, and maybe Bowmore is not your favorite distillery, so you say, okay, I'm not going to bother you know, doing the tour, stuff like that. I highly, highly, highly recommend at least going into the visitor center and seeing what they have available on the shelves. Fish Ale, or Festival of the Island, is in May every year, and the distilleries produce special bottles. Uh, just for the festival. However, they tend to produce more than what is sold during the festival. So if you go to Isla, maybe in June or July, when the crowds have died down a little bit, you, you, you can often still find at the tasting room or the visitor center at these distilleries, some fish ale additions, such as this one. But even if you go there uh, another time in the year in which these bottles are not available, they still often have special distillery releases uh, that are only available at the distillery, such as this hand-filled Bowmore. This is bottled at 56.7% alcohol by volume. 
Some distilleries even let you bottle your own whiskey. I did that at uh, Glen Goyne and my, uh, during my trip to uh, Scotland in July 2023. I did it back in 2018 at Glendronic, and it's, it's fun to do, uh, but you get to bring home something that you yourself filled and hand ran on. Now this, it's a hand filled, but I myself didn't do it, but they hand wrote on here 56.7% alcohol by volume. Now this hasn't been opened yet, but when I went through the uh, Spring Bank Whiskey School, one of my fellow students, Peter, brought one of these because he had just been to Isla uh, to share with his fellow students, and it's absolutely fantastic. Again, you can probably find these on the secondary, so if you don't want to go all the way to Isla, you can pick one up, but yeah, they're not cheap. But still, at 300 pounds or dollars, plus shipping and all that, there are a lot of whiskeys out there that are selling for three, four, five times that, that maybe aren't as good as this one. And so even if you are buying this on the secondary, you're still saving money and still getting a real high quality whiskey in comparison to some of those other bottlings. For example, this is a, a Bowmore Aston Martin edition, uh, 21 year old, bottled at 51.8% alcohol by volume. I got this from uh, an acquaintance of mine who owns a retail shop and he was able to get for me, I think it was around $300. However, these are now selling for four, five, six, seven, even over a thousand dollars. So now in comparing these two whiskeys, I prefer, I actually prefer uh, this Fischl edition over this 21 year old, but because it's Aston Martin and it's got the fancy box and all the imagery that goes along with it, uh, you know, it's gonna, for the collectors and the flippers and all that, you're gonna pay a lot more for them. So again, still in comparison with the Aston Martin releases, I still think this Fisher Lil Edition uh, is a deal in comparison with these other bottles. Even if you're not going to be throwing down that kind of cash for a bottle of whiskey, it's good to know that Bowmore has something much more impressive about the to know their capabilities or what they can do uh, beyond what they uh, release in their core range, their 12, the 15, the 18, and I believe that, and the 25 year old. Those are non chill filtered, those are, excuse me, those hatch are chill filtered. They're all at 40 or 43% ABV, probably color adjusted with E150 and all that. And the 18 year old, the 18 year old from the core range, which is at 43 ABV, that one's selling for $160 on retail. And up. it's a lot more accessible, easier to get, but bang for the buck with what you get for your whiskey, this 18 year old is a lot better than that 18 year old. All right, let's get into those. First of all, one of the things about this whiskey, it is very uh, alluring. It is very um, seductive. It is very, very seductive. I was enjoying a drama of this while watching a movie and I had it in a rocks glass, a space, a, a Riedel Spey rocks glass. It's my, one of my favorite drinking glasses, not for analyzing, just for drinking. And as I approached my nose with the glass, um, it was as if a cloud of vapor was emanating from the glass and I could taste it from the rocks glass just by breathing in the air. I was sucking in fumes and, and I could taste it just emanating from the glass, so not even I get an actual li liquid, just from inhaling the vapors, and it was just absolutely uh, marvelous. So this is a very dark and rich whiskey. Dark chocolate, fudge, vanilla, loads of spice. It reminds me of those uh, lava cakes you know where they, it's like a real, it's a dark chocolate and inside is like a liquid chocolate. And when you cut into it, this uh, chocolate goo sort of <laughs> come, comes out of it. It's very, very, very similar to that. Cinnamon, baking spices, dark caramel, loads of vanilla, fudge. A little bit of prune and dark dried black fruit notes. The peat is really, 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 and the peat smoke is really interwoven really, really, really well. What Bowmore offers to Isla 
is a whiskey that has moderate and well integrated peat. I love big peated whiskeys from Ardbeg, Lagavulin, uh, Laphroaig, or say uh, the Octomor and the Port Charlotte's from Brucolati, or some of the, uh, or Kilholman, or some of the Moyne releases from uh, Bonahaven, or, or some of the really nice additions uh, coming out of uh, Kalela, beyond the core range, really, really, really nice. I have a Pedro Jimenez official edition uh, from Kalela, which I'm doing a, another video on. But this is sort of a more, an even player. It's a little bit more modern and well integrated. It's comparable to Highland Park in the way in which they do their peat. However, Highland Park uses Orkney peat uh, and this uses Isla peat and has a different character. So I'm not talking about the character and the aromas and the flavors uh, being comparable to Highland Park, but in terms of the intensity of the smoke and the peat and, and the way it's integrated into the whiskey. On the palate. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sweet up front. Goes a little savory in the middle and into the back end. Dark chocolate, fudge, vanilla. Really nice interwoven smoke and peat. Dark caramels. Spice about three quarters of the way back. I would say Highland Park tend to be spicier. But I would say um, baking spices heavier uh, than Beaumont, but this has nice spice as well. It is silky, easy to drink, even at this IB, ABV uh, without adding any water. I don't feel any need to add any water to this whatsoever. It is delicious as is. Unbelievably long finish. There are some whiskeys that have a long finish. In other words, the flavor continues. However, the intensity of the flavor perhaps has dropped off and then it's at a low level as it continues to linger. This, the intensity of the flavor is maintained at a higher level than a lot of other whiskeys uh, as it goes into, it doesn't quickly drop off. Uh, there is a nice silky mouth coating feel to it. It has a, just, just a touch of saltiness on the back end as well. This, and this alone, is a reason to make a special trip to Isla to pick up a bottle. Again, if you're ever on Isla, and if you're not planning on, maybe you're not a big fanboy of Beaumont, and you're, and you're going to be going through the town of Beaumont is the capital of Isla, at least stop in the visitor center and pick up a bottle of, of official edition or a, a handful edition. Well, what would I give this in terms of a score? 95 points. 95 points is definitely uh, one of my top 10 whiskeys of uh, 2023. All right, uh, that's it for this review. If you subscribe to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you have not yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it. If you would subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I go live or post a new video. And until next time, slanja. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.